too. Yeah. yeah. For both of you that didn't know. Cheer, you're cheering because I understand this. That's quite a remarkable thing to do. <laughs> but um, I, I'm looking around here and I made a couple false starts yesterday and today to try to draft some notes knowing I was going to have this opportunity to speak to you. And nothing happened. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever happened to you. <laughs> Never happened to me. <laughs> and they called my name and I walked up to the chalkboard and I was ready to roll. I hadn't practiced a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. so and what I what I decided was that I would probably be more effective if I could communicate from my heart to your heart than if I could offer any really clear analytical analyses on anything. And so I'm, I'm gonna pitch that approach in the trash and I'm gonna try to, <laughs> I'm gonna try to talk from my heart to yours. And I look around the room here and I see that there are people here that are older than me. <laughs> you could justifiably take my place right here and have one of your children up here signing off for their first marriage, leaving the nest, and you could relate to what that would feel like to have one of your children going off into the world to be married. And that's a big thing. And I know that you know it's a big thing because you've already come to grips with it. Either <laughs> in the imagination <laughs> or um, in reality. So for the moment, just indulge me and ride with me on this journey. And imagine you're standing right here. I'm not going to go on probably any longer than this. 
You'll be glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that I have had the greatest blessing that any man, I think, could possibly ever have, which is to have a daughter with a, a really rough start to the relationship, father-daughter relationship, and um, it was very rough. And you probably know a bride that she is not hesitant to speak her mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to get letters from her. <laughs> Dear Dad, this is Bray, your daughter. <laughs> You're doing a horrible job. <laughs> she wrote to me and I thought I thought that the shame and for the most part was right and that I was gonna do my best to straighten up and fly right but that there wasn't anything I could do except behave that way.